Hi guys, so keyword is one of the factors to get ranked in YouTube and also to increase your traffic organically. And yeah, I'm going to show you how I do my keyword research after um, in uploading a video, okay? Sometimes I um, do keyword research in advance. I have an idea what are the videos that I need to upload or I also check to make analytics what are the videos that are performing well so I can replicate or I can create a similar um, you know similar topics so anyways I just uploaded this video and this topic is all about um, beginners tutorial for WordPress theme and yeah first is you need to install a tool called TubeBuddy so this one TubeBuddy.com just go to TubeBuddy.com um, they have a they have a um, premium plan if you want but if you are just you're just starting out then this one i mean using free version will work so because there are also other other tools that we can use as well aside from true buddy so you need to install this just go to the true just type in true buddy extension and you should able to see this part said chrome.google.com and then just click that and you need to install it you should able to see an install if your true buddy is not yet in your chrome so you need to use a google chrome extension for that Okay, after that, you will see this option once the TubeBuddy is, is installed. Okay, you have an, after this, um, you can click this one, make sure you sign into your Gmail account and click this keyword explorer. Okay, now you, um, let's type in what this video is all about. So I'm going to type in maybe um, DV. This is the core title of my video. So if it's a cooking, how to make a pasta, then type in like how to make a pasta. So I click that one and you will see like, you will see the volume here. So wait, by the way, if you want to really want to have um, better data, you need to upgrade to their premium version. But I'm good with a free version for now. Um, yeah, so if you see this one like this is green so it means there's no a lot of competition So there's a little bit of competition, but this keyword is searched so often and it's worth targeting so people There's a lot of people are searching how to make pasta But only few youtubers are making this kind of videos. So like that, but this green red one is a bit hard to you know, it's a bit hard to, um, it's a competitive keyword, it, which means a lot of people, probably a lot of people are searching it or few people are searching it. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the subscribe button and that bell notification to receive new videos from me. I also have other YouTube channels, so make sure you subscribe that as well. And there's a lot of competitors, okay? The orange one is fine. The the yellow one is fine and this is the most um, recommended part um, it, you just need to avoid the red um, the red thing because this one is super competitive and you might have problem ranking in google on youtube if your channel is small because you will be competing with high with those big youtube channels now they also have like this part in here like the related topics that you can use. So how to make a pasta, there is a related topic for that. So how to make a, a pasta salad, how to make a pasta sauce, how to make a pasta at home. You can use that as well, but you need to choose what's your main keyword. So your main keyword is how to make pasta and your related keywords can be this. And you can also use this one. So they have like, they already have, you know, they have, already break down the keywords that you can use okay other than TubeBuddy, you can go to google trending okay google trending and this one works if you don't have a topic yet so um you, you don't know what will be the video that you're going to upload then looking for a trend would be perfect so let's say you are a cookie person and yeah let's type in how to make pasta and you'll see here like the trends like this keyword is pretty good the trends is consistent there are like 26 
search, but it's still good, okay? And this is only for United States. So if you want to target worldwide, so you see here, like there is at least 100 people searching the pasta for the past 12 months, okay? Um, I think this one is good. It's You don't need to be go beyond to 2,000 views per, per day because that would be a bit hard to rock, especially if your channel is new. You can start with a very low competition keyword and then after that, you can branch out to very competitive keywords, okay? You need to build your channel first, okay? And then there is an option here if you just want to filter the YouTube search. So click the YouTube search and you'll see here like almost 77 persons per day looked for videos about how to make pasta. So that's a great start. And these are the regions or the countries. So by Harry Arkey, UAE are searching a lot about pasta. There's also other related queries. So it's similar to the um, tube body. The Google Trends will provide you like, what are the other topics that you can add on that, okay? And the third tool that we can use is the Google Keyword Planner. By the way, you need to log into your Gmail account. You need to make sure you have a Gmail account for that. So go to the, okay, you need to type into Google Keyword Planner and look on this part, ads.google.com and click that one. And again, you need to sign into your Gmail account, otherwise you cannot access the Google Keyword Planner, okay? So sign in or click the go to Keyword Planner and go to the, um, you need to create a Google Ads account. Don't worry, um, just create an Ads account, it's free. So I'm gonna use any of this, so let's just use the canceled account for that. And once you have this, this dashboard here, go to the tools, tools and then tools and settings, and then keyword planner. Now let's type in this one, which is how to make pasta. So let's type in how to make a pasta. And then you can filter the countries. Now we are a YouTuber. We want to target worldwide as possible. I mean, a lot of YouTubers are targeting worldwide versus on very, um, on their local area. So click the saved and then get the result. And you will see here, like there is almost 100K to 1 million searches for per month for the how to make pasta keyword. And you will also see here like the top bid, the low bid and the high bid for this keyword. So these are more likely about the RPM and CPM if you can see it. So this one, I mean, a lot of people are searching it, but YouTube, pays it for at least one cents or 50 cents to one dollar per a thousand of you. So it's not really, you know, however, you can also, I mean, instead of using how to make pasta, why don't you try how to make a, how to make a shrimp scampi? <laughs> Sorry if I probably, I pronounce it wrong or how to make it Okay, let's copy this one. By the way, if you want to copy a keyword, you're ready, I mean, you're ready final with the keywords, you can click this tick here and then copy, and then you put it, why don't you try this keyword instead? Because it has a three, by the way, this is for passes. I'm currently living in Philippines, so 3.862, $2 per month. So instead of just using this, because it has only at least not even, $2, why don't you try this one? Because it is more than $6 of CPM. So Google Keyword Planner is super helpful. Okay, so aside from this strategy, there is also an option for you to steal a keyword from your favorite YouTuber or probably a podcaster or a coach, okay? You just need to go back to your tools and then Keyword Planner and then um, discover new keywords. And there is an option in here called enter a domain to use as a filter or you can use this one okay let's say for example our best um i'm gonna okay vanessa lau and vanessa how let's you... go into her website and let's copy that and then we will put it here 
and let's get to result. Let's see what are the keywords that ranking so far on her website. So instead of just typing a keyword, you can look for keywords that is ranking so well on her website. As you can see here, her CPM is super amazing, 527. This is so cool. So that's it guys. Um, there's still other in-depth guide how to do keyword research on your in your videos, but let me know if you want me to create another series on this. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I can create a new one for you. That's it. Have a great day.